In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Epson XP5200 using a USB cable to your computer. This works with Mac and PC, but in this video, I'll show you on a PC computer. This cable is not included in the box. You'll have to purchase one separately and I'll put a link towards Amazon. So if you want to get one from there, you also support my channel. First step, go on the back of your printer and on the right side, this is where the USB port is. Take your cable and we simply have to connect it over there. Do not connect it yet to your PC. On your PC computer, you have to go where you see the Windows logo down below. Could be on this corner as well. On a Mac, you need to click on the Apple logo and then select System Settings. Go on the left side, down on that list where you see printers and scanners. And then on the right side, down below the page should be Add Printer. On a PC, let me show you, I'll click on this and then select Settings, select Bluetooth and Devices and then select on the right side, printers and scanners. Now your printer should appear over here once you have connected. So take the USB cable and I will connect it on the side of my PC. Here we go. Now take a look at this page. Usually you don't have to install any driver or anything. Just wait at this point after a few minutes, two, three minutes, your printer should appear in this list. Here we go. After about a minute and a half, I got it. I got it here. Now, if you click add drivers, this window will open and yeah, it will just guide you how to install a driver. It's not very useful. So the easiest way, honestly, is to simply go on Google and over here, simply type Epson XP5200 driver. One of the first options should be from the official Epson website, Epson Canada, since this is where I am located, or Epson USA over here. Once you're on their website, to download the driver, you simply have to go down, select your operating system, I'm on Windows 11, so I'll choose this one, press go. Go down. And over here you have a few options. You can select drivers, printer driver, press download. It will download it in just a few seconds. Open the file, press yes. Press OK. We can close the web browser page. Press OK. Press Agree and OK. And now just wait because it will get installed. And you're going to get the message that everything got successfully installed. Press OK. Now what I suggest is you simply unplug your printer and then plug it back in your PC. Now you may get driver is unavailable, but if we're trying to print, I'll show you it's not really true. Open any file you wish to print. Let me press the print button. Under printer over here, select your Epson XP5200 series. Press the print button. And here we go, it actually works. Et voila. So if you restart your computer, there's a good chance that error message that the printer is not, the driver is not available will disappear. If it doesn't disappear, don't worry, the printer is working as it should, even if you get that error message. So this is about it. If you want to scan, by the way, um, get the results on your PC, you simply have to put your document on the scanner and on your PC, simply under search, type scan. 
it will open the scan app that should be installed on your PC. It comes included with it. If you don't have it, go on the Microsoft Store and type scan. It's made by Microsoft. Just download it. Select the scanner of your printer. So over here, XP5200 series. Then select auto configure, what type of file you would like to uh, get from the scan. I'll select JPEG. Click show more and you can select where do you want the scan to be saved on your PC. At the end, press scan and wait. You're going to get a confirmation that it has been scanned and you can press view or go in the folder where you have selected the scan to go. And uh, here we go. We have a beautiful scan in just a few seconds. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and a like. Check my Amazon links if you want to get some ink cartridges for this specific XP5200 or some paper. I'll put those links down below. Again, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.